Trouble is mounting tonight for the pastor of a 25,000 member megachurch near Atlanta, Bishop Eddie Long, who lives a lavish lifestyle and has denounced homosexuality, is accused of coercing three young men into relationships. Steve Osinsami has details of the lawsuits. Bishop Eddie Long is considered one of the most anti-gay pastors in the country, who once said that homosexuality is a spiritual abortion. If today's accusations are true, he might regret the day he led thousands through the streets of Atlanta in protest of gays and same-sex marriage. Woman and woman and man and man, it's not right. So that's why I stand on the bishop. In the lawsuits filed by three young men he recruited into the youth ministry at his gigantic church outside Atlanta, they describe him as a sexual predator who pushed them into sex, lavished them with expensive gifts, and sent them these photos, texts, and emails when they were above the legal age of consent, but just 16 and 17 years old. They say he certainly doesn't look like a bishop here. What pastor in his right mind sends a picture of himself posing in a bathroom in a muscle shirt. None. None that I know of. At the funeral of Coretta Scott King, which took place at his church in 2006, some civil rights leaders refused to attend because Long is so anti-gay. And he isn't just any pastor. He leads one of the largest African-American congregations in the world. This bishop drives a Bentley and has his own private jet. These young men say that many people in the church who were close to Bishop Long knew what was going on but covered for him and kept quiet for years. In a statement, Long's attorney says the bishop denies the accusations. His accusers say there were hundreds of young men in his youth ministry and they believe more of them will come forward. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta.